how lava engulfed and devoured some houses in the Grindavik. Uh, this is after the second uh, fissure, 100 meter long, opened up inside the walls, protective walls, that we built to protect the town against the flow of the lava from the Hagofil over the past two weeks. Uh, then the lava flowed toward the north uh, east side of the town, entered the town and streets, and burnt some houses. Three houses were burnt in total, it seems. And uh, the view was uh, apocalyptic in a way, you can say. It was a property that people have not paid even the depth of, for them yet and not moved into. So this was a bad thing from the start. Fortunately, just after 24 hours, the lava in this fissure seems completely stopped. And what it left is a scar, which looked like a dog chewing the, that part of the town. Interesting enough, the lava on the surface looks very dark, like the lunar basalt that you can see in the museums. New cracks are appearing in the town, and uh, the pipes, which are now empty from the water, are at risk of frost, breaking them if they uh, pump water again into them, in that sense. And new cracks are developing every minute of the time. Also, good, another good news is that, I should mention, the west part of the Grindavik has now the electric back, and this is the latest map uh, for those of you who want to know where is it, uh, showing where the location of the wall and the lava fissures and the damage it has done. Which, when you think about it and compare it with what happened in the Cambrai Vieja just a few years ago in the Canary Islands of Spain, in the Atlantic Ocean, it they don't look as much. Let's watch some of those videos. Lava Osis in Cambria Vieja volcano eruption. This is the last night uh, lava movement. And when we go uphill, what we found is houses standing alone like Osis with trees yet intact in the middle of the lava. Some of them are not even completely encircled, but they were a little bit higher than the level of the lava flow. They will be eventually completely buried if it continues the way it is. Lava falls into water pool and this is the best opportunity to see what will happen. This is what everybody likes to know. Okay, when the heat is applied to water, water expands. So you will have a lot of, uh, you know, expansion, something like explosion. Let us see uh, what uh, what happens. This is La Palma uh, um, uh, in the Cambre Vieja. The volcano has erupted. The lava is advancing. This water uh, vapor at the center, you can see, is the pool of the water. The lava is falling into it. And as you can see, it causes explosions. This is this is explosive water, hot water steam vapor rising to the air, and uh, as you can see, the lava is really high. Oh God, that's that's probably twenty, thirty meter high. That is amazing. It's sad, but amazing.